I'm Cal Brook, the IBF World Welterweight Champion, and you're watching Behind the Glove. First of all, just tell us about your excitement, about having that belt on your arm and being able to talk about defending. To be a world champion and have the chance to fight in front of my own fans in the MEN, which is going to be a sellout of packed out arena, is unreal. What do you know about your opponent already? Well, I've seen him and he looks a very good fighter. He's strong, he's a southpaw like myself, can punch and he's good. He's a good fighter, really good fighter, what I've seen of him. There's a quick question I've been asked to ask you as well about, uh, the, in terms of the British fighters that are in your division, who do you see as closest to you at the moment? Uh, at the minute, myself, I'm, I really like Campbell, but I think he's a few fights away from my level, but yeah, he's the one who's impressed me. Okay, and there was talk as well about you fighting Anthony Crawler. Just talk to us about what happened behind that and how much you would have liked that to have happened. Oh, it would have been a great fight, me and Anthony. Uh, we're both friends, we went to the same school, we grew up in the same area. And for him to be a United fan and me a City fan, it could build it that way and it would be a great fight possibly in the future. But it's, it didn't happen this time, but hopefully it will happen down the line and we can both earn some decent money out of it. That's brilliant. Um, just tell us about what it's going to be like to be part of a big Manchester fight night as well, because Manchester is becoming almost like a capital for boxing. It's great, isn't it? Like, no, I'm not the main, the main Bill Andy and uh, Billy Joe are going to sell it out anyway, so there's no pressure on me to sell the show, which is a good thing. I can just concentrate on training. It's going to be a big show, boxing in front of 15,000 people, and hopefully it'll come out victorious and it'll be a great night. How does it make you feel knowing that you're going to be coming out as the Manchester lad, that you're going to get a massive cheer when you come out and the sort of support that you're getting from the hometown faithful at the moment? It's great. Like when, when I won it in the village home, it was a, a great night when I come out. It made the air stand up on the back of my neck and that was only four or 5,000 people in there. So to be watching in front of 15,000, words can't describe it. It's going to be unreal. And given the nature of how you won the belt and how it might not have been the most satisfactory of outcomes in terms of you'd rather have knocked it out probably, but how much is there a point to prove from your from your point of view that you want to show people you're very much worthy of that belt? I, I know there's that point, but I believe I'm worthy of it anyway. I had the, I had the beating of the fight. And, uh, yeah, but to, on October 10th, everyone who comes out and watches me fight, they're going to see the best Terry Flanagan, the biggest, strongest Terry Flanagan I've ever seen, and I'm going to put a show on. One final point there, where do you see, um, I should say Northwest Boxing, not just Manchester, because we've got Liam on this bill as well, but Northwest Boxing at the moment, it's, it's the hub, isn't it, for, it, for British boxing? It is, like Frank said before, it's a, the, one of the, the homes of British boxing at the minute, it's uh, bigger, bigger than it's ever been. Hey, Fight Fans, if you guys haven't already done so, make sure you download the Behind the Gloves app. It's free, and it features really cool stuff like a fight calendar that reminds you of all the upcoming fights, and it allows for you to, with one click, to remind yourself directly to your phone. And it also features 24-7 breaking news that's going on in boxing. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that and subscribe to this channel.